Welcome back. My name is Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking, and this is the start of a new playlist on the Swiffle Thinking channel. This one's going to be arguably easier. It's going to be a little fun. Uh, so, so far on my channel, basically every single playlist, we have been using the Apple frameworks out of the box. We have very rarely used any third party frameworks. But when you go to actually build a production app, or if you join a team that has an app in production, chances are they're gonna use some third party frameworks and packages that have components that are not in the Swift UI framework out of the box. So the first one that comes to mind is an image loading SDK. On this channel, I showed you guys how to do it yourself, but there are third party frameworks that also do it for us. And chances are, if somebody else has a full package and that package is being used by thousands and it's been around for a long time, chances are that package is gonna be much better than any sort of logic or code that you or me would write in a couple hours. Now we don't want to just load up our app with a bunch of random SDKs. We don't wanna just add in any package on the whim. When you're adding in third party packages, you're quite literally taking code and injecting code from other people. There is some degree of trust in this, right? You're literally taking other people's code and putting it into your app and then using it. So most of the time we wanna stay with packages that we feel confident about, uh, that we feel either a lot of people are using, they've been around for a while, maybe they're supported by big companies. For example, one of the packages we're gonna look at is called the Lottie SDK. That is made by Airbnb. So the fact that Airbnb is maintaining it, that gives us a little bit of security that this package is, is written well and it's gonna be maintained for a long time. So in this series, it's going to be a bootcamp style where each video is a different topic, but they're not really gonna be aggregate. They're not gonna be incremental on each other. Each video will be basically independent and looking at one specific framework. We're gonna start with some image SDKs, then we're gonna move on to some UI frameworks and then a couple others. Uh, if you have a framework that you want me to cover, a third party framework that is not an Apple branded framework, leave a comment below and I will try to get to it. I'm only gonna cover frameworks that basically I trust or I would actually put into my own apps. So if it's a small framework that nobody's ever used or heard of or is not being maintained, I probably won't cover it because I only wanna really cover things that you guys should actually use in your apps. As we go through, we're gonna look at not only how to get the framework in our app and use it, but we're gonna actually talk about how to implement this in our app in a smart and strategic way. All right, that's all from me. I hope you guys are excited about this series. Uh, again, almost everything we're gonna cover here, it's code that you could write yourself. It's not like we couldn't download images ourselves. It's that these frameworks are making it easier for us as developers. Maybe the SDK is more performant, maybe it's easier to use, maybe it's a combination. So at the end of the day, if we can trust these packages, they're gonna be our best friends and we're gonna to want to use them in our apps. Let's jump into Xcode and import a package.